You're about to hear Joe Rogan and Kyle Kalinske talk about conspiracy theories. And anytime these political guys, they talk about conspiracy theories, they tend to get really cocky. Like, uh, they're, re they're really, really definite on what's absolute nonsense and what's actual fact. And I really think that's funny because in the past three, four years, as time goes on, a lot of things that were conspiracy ended up being true. So I just want to watch this uh, clip and have them talk about that. And then we're going to connect conspiracy theorists, the left and the right, and the thing that they all have in common that I don't think Kyle Kalinske actually sees. This is episode 1935, Kyle Kalinske with Joe Rogan, of course, and we're at 30 minutes, zero seconds. All right, Coach Colin, coolest high-performance coach in the world, subscribe, let's go. Change the way people would see a narrative. Remember when you had uh, Mark Zuckerberg on? Yes. And, and Zuckerberg was like, yes. like, yeah, the FBI reached out to us and they said, you know, hey, there's going to be a disinformation dump from Russia coming. And so we were ready when the Hunter Biden thing dropped. Yeah. And it's like, OK, well, this is a perfect example of they were just wrong. They yes. said, oh, this isn't Hunter Biden's laptop. You know, it, it's no big deal. Uh, this is just Russian disinformation. Yeah. And then it turns out it was his laptop. And yeah. so and Mark Zuckerberg was almost doing a victory lap by saying, hey, I only suppressed it in the algorithm as opposed to banning it. He was like, oh, I didn't ban it. So therefore, I'm, you know. Good on me. I don't think he was doing a victory lap. I think he was just being accurate, and it seemed better than the way Twitter handled it. Right, and it was, but yes. it's still, this is exactly what mm -hmm. we're talking about, the, the algorithmic suppression, Yeah, where it's like, look, just let people decide for themselves. And yes, you're going to have the uh, occasional <laughs> circumstance where... Maybe a flat earth video does get two million views, Dude, I right? I love a good flat but, earth video. Yeah, that's the thing. Like sometimes these conspiracy <laughs> theories, if you look at it as just like a creativity thing, it's yeah. interesting, right? Like, oh my God, they, it's, they can find a way to make a case for a position that's so absurd where it makes you go, huh. Exactly. <laughs> but, but that's okay, right? And yeah. some people will fall down the rabbit hole and that sucks. But I do think you have to have some degree of faith that most people are going to be like, yeah, no, this is this is kind of bullshit. Isn't it interesting though? Because like that that kind of stuff doesn't work on you, right? If someone talks about hollow Earth and there's dinosaurs <laughs> living in the lava and like it's not going to work on you, but the concern is that it's going to work on some people. And what they'll use as an example is things like QAnon, right? And yeah. which sets mm -hmm. up January sixth. But then they'll ignore the fact that the FBI has agent provocateurs Wait, roll, that are sure. instigating these people to go into the Capitol. So they're only talking about the dangers of QAnon. Like, what about the game dangers of the federal government riling these people up or, or agents from the federal government right. who are just trying to accomplish something that's going to enhance their career? Yeah. Like we and, talked about last night. That's right. And you know what? The way I think about that is very simple. If, if QAnon is spreading like wildfire and it's batshit fucking crazy, which it is, yeah. then the burden is on people like me to explain, hey, here's why this is batshit. Here's why this is wrong. Yes. Let me show you how these things don't match up. Let me show you. And, and again, the issue is, if it's coming from an independent voice, if, it, if the debunking is coming from an independent voice where, like, you know, you know I'm not beholden to anybody, you know I'm telling you what I really think, and I'm very detailed in responding to it, then that's eventually how you win on that front. Yes. You're not going to win just by saying... Just totally ban it, because then, you know, we had a conversation the other day with a guy in the airport who was totally convinced, sweet guy, very nice, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he brings up, you know, I think Trump won. I think Trump won the election. And there's no way that Biden guy won, and it's like, you know, I, I don't want to create more people like that. You need to, right. you need to, I need to be able to respond in real time, bring a convincing case, and then just make people go, okay, yeah. at the very least, I'll move to agnosticism, as opposed to believing an incorrect thing right and the the QAnon thing like that's why into the storm was so important because is that the, that andrew callahan one that's oh no that's that the other no, what no, is no. the guy's name that did the documentary series on hbo did uh, you see it andrew callahan i think it is that one right into Which, the storm is the new into one with the andrew storm? callahan into the storm was uh tr no he's the new one he's the new one that's is that what you're referring to the newer no. one no i'm referring to the i had the the gentleman on who made yeah, that documentary I to say it, but i want to say the wrong name so, i okay. think i think i know the one you're talking about i think it was on hulu the one you're talking about no it was on hbo it was on hbo yeah. okay well um, i saw that one with crystal the asian guy who ended up being q Colin that Hobeck. one yes 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 that's yes it. That was that, a great. That was a great one. Good it was amazing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's the only way you're going to really unravel that. Correct. And then you get to see like, oh, these people got duped, and this is why, and this, this is like what's attractive about it. That these people are on the inside. They understand the secrets, and everybody's being lied to, and they're going to fucking bring back the real government. And 
This was the other one you were talking about. Yeah, this, this was rules. the newer this one rules. with Andrew Callahan. Oh, this plays rules. He yeah. also did. This was also about QAnon, but I saw the one you were just talking about. I didn't see this new one. I saw the one you were talking about, and it was a very, very good documentary. Yes. Very yes. good documentary. Well, it's it's very good because you get so deep into the motivations behind these people. They're all a bunch of like social outcasts and weirdos, right. and they find this group, and they, it gives them meaning, and then it becomes their whole identity. That's ex a lot of these people are just looking for something to care about, just yes. looking for purpose, just looking for meaning. And they would rather take a wrong answer than they would something that's right, but nobody makes a case for the thing that is right. Yeah. This is amazing, especially for somebody who considers themselves left, right? <laughs> left, right? Like, that's exactly what you are. When you're on the left or you're on the right, you're exactly like that person that he's like, you know, kind of scoffing at this, these, these QAnon people. You're the same thing. You wanted to belong. You want, you feel like you're on a side that knows the secrets and understands and this other side just doesn't get it. And if they could just understand what we know, because we know fact, we know fact. And if they could just if they could just understand what we know, they would be on our side. Of course. I mean, our side's right. Right, fellas. A bunch of purple haired, -haired people are like, yeah. <laughs> and then the same thing on the right. Like it's the exact same thing. And that thing that I was talking about that connects all three of these types of people is tribe. You just want to be a part of a tribe, you know, and it's it's. I think it's so silly to look at one tribe and be like, well, they're ridiculous. But me, I'm over here and I'm not ridiculous. Like there were people on on the left that were like, Biden is going to be an articulate statesman. He's going to be the white Obama and it's going to be wonderful. And then he gets out there and you're just like, oh, no, what happened? Oh, no. Right. There's people on the right who saw, thought certain things were going to happen. They thought they thought Trump was going to like just be like, I'm still the president and I'm not leaving. They, they, they really thought that they, there's right and wrong on every on every side and, and including that middle side of like conspiracy. But like it's so funny as they're talking, they're talking about Hunter Biden's laptop. Well, before it was realized that it was his laptop, that was a conspiracy. Do you know how many people would laugh at you if you were like, that's Hunter Biden's laptop and he's smoking crack and doing all this stuff? They'd be like, yeah, OK, OK, buddy. Like, that's ridiculous. That doesn't happen. That's Biden's son. How dare you? And then it came out. It, it, it just shifted from conspiracy to fact. That was it. It just shifted. And it's like they, they kind of act like they forgot that part. Right. And I'm not saying QAnon's a real thing. I, I don't even know much about QAnon, to be completely honest. Um, but like, you can't sit around and just be like, this This is a ridiculous conspiracy theory, and it will never be proven as right, as you're talking about the Hunter Biden laptop conspiracy. You know why they don't call it, you know why they, they don't think of it like that? Because it got proven as fact. You got to give things time, is what I'm really saying when it comes to this type of stuff. You really do. I don't know. I just and then and then on top of that, I'll be honest, they brought up my favorite conspiracy theory in the world. Hollow Earth. How dare you disrespect Hollow Earth? Good Lord. Don't talk about Hollow Earth. I love that conspiracy that there's a tropical giant forest inside of the world. Don't take that away from me. How dare these two this bleach blonde guy? Come on, man. But. Honestly, that's that's the thing that connects all three sides is tribe. So it's like it's just it's it's just really it, I just think it's so cocky when one tribe just looks at another and just goes, <laughs> they don't get it. They just don't get it, man. <laughs> They'll never understand. They'll never see the world properly. They are subscribing to wrong facts. Those facts are wrong. That's misinformation. You know, I don't know. It just uh, it, that that clip stood out to me a lot because it's like you really do have to. Again, I think I brought this up before. You really do have to have a healthy distrust of things that you hear, you know, like those people who thought they're the first people. I mean, these first people who were like, this is Hunter Biden's laptop. Those people 
had a healthy distrust of what the media had to say about that topic. And they were proven right. They looked at it and they said, this is a con- this this is not conspiracy. These companies, these news outlets are not covering this because it's the president's son and this is messed up and they should be covering this. And there's all these pictures and there's all these videos. And everybody was like, you're crazy. Next thing you know, it's real. You know, I don't know. It's a uh, it's a wild world when it comes to conspiracy and, and who thinks they're right and who thinks they're wrong. I just I, I like to I like to stay in the middle. That's where I like to stay. I don't like to stay on the left. I don't like to stay on the right. I like to be right in the middle and just see where things go. Like you're telling me if you have a conspiracy to tell me about, tell me about it. Like, why not? You know, I remember when I was younger, people would talk about the Bilderberg group. And I was like, is that real? It turns out it's real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bohemian Grove. That's not real. But turns out it's real. It's like you just got to give things time. Just, you know. Hollywood's like Holly weird and it's like no no Holly weird Hollywood's not weird and then the next thing you know you just you're seeing all this stuff and you're seeing all this you're seeing all this imagery and you're just like oh wow and then you hear like I, don't, I won't even get into it but I don't know I would just say stay in the middle stay in the middle and you know and whatever tribe you're in don't look at the other tribe and 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 look down on them because what they know what you think the nonsense that you think that they have, like if you think they're thinking nonsense, eventually they'll be proven right on something. There's no way the other side, every single thing they think is nonsense. There's no chance. That's, that's, that's just not going to happen. Both sides have equal points and a lot of conspiracies end up being fact. So it's like it's best to just shut your mouth and just just wait. Just wait for the facts. But that's it. I'm out. Peace.